Hey there. Every day this week, I've been sharing these little videos in, an, in a bid to encourage you in growing as independently dependent followers of Jesus. With churches around the world unable to meet together publicly due to coronavirus pandemic, I believe God's calling us into a deeper dependency on him. And this week in particular, I believe that God wants to draw us deeper into his word. Now today, I want to encourage you that who you read God's word with really matters. The Bible tells us of the mysterious and hidden wisdom of God. When we read this book, it's mysterious, right? And it's filled with layer upon layer of wisdom that's revealed to us when we read it and chew on it and get stuck into it. Reading your Bible superficially doesn't get us very far. Now, in this series where I'm encouraging you to discover independent dependency on God, it might sound funny that I'm about to encourage you that who you read with matters. You know, in that same passage that told us about the mysterious and hidden wisdom of God through his word, it doesn't just stop there. It doesn't say, oh, well, it's complex, so there's no point in trying to get through it. No, the passage continues. It says, but God has revealed it to us by the Spirit. You know, if you are a Christian today, you need to know that God has placed his Holy Spirit in you. So when I say who you read with matters, I'm saying you need to know that God's Holy Spirit is with you. The Word of God is complex and yet he has placed in you his Spirit. He'll reveal to you God's love and his heart for you through the Word. So if you're serious about getting stuck into your Bible, then you need to know and accept the Holy Spirit is with you. So before you read, take a moment. Ask Holy Spirit to reveal God's wisdom to you through his word. And as you begin to put into practice all that we've spoken about the last few days, greater regularity in your reading, greater depth of engagement, new and fresh ways that encourage you in his word. I believe that God's Holy Spirit will open your eyes to the hidden truths of his word. And my prayer for you is that you will continue this journey of relying on him and his word to fill up your spiritual appetite, to nourish your inbuilt needs and desires for intimacy with God and you'll begin to know more fully what it means to be independently dependent on God. Keep pressing on with the daily reading challenge I set you to read a chapter of Mark's Gospel each day, inviting Holy Spirit to open up your eyes to new revelation of God's heart and his will for your life. Let this be the start of a new chapter in your spiritual life and let me know how you're getting on in the comments. Thanks for joining me all this week on the first leg of this independently dependent journey. I hope to be back again in a few weeks time as we consider how God wants to encourage us to be independently dependent on him through prayer. Bye for now.